Hey guys, this is Mac4TW here. I want to show you how to use ScreenFlow here, screen capture utility for Mac, um, to make YouTube videos, which is what I use to make all my videos actually. So it works pretty good, it's really easy to use. I, it's, I really recommend it if you're making videos. It looks much better than, you know, the shaky little camera work. Some of those, you know, new newer users, I guess, don't really know how to do this yet. Use. So anyway, once you open ScreenFlow, I can't show you how to start the video since I'm taping, but yeah. You're going to get, once it's open, you're going to get this little video camera here without the dot. So you click on that. Under configure recording, you can pick to use the iSight or not use it and whether to use the sound the computer is emitting and the microphone. So you pick whatever you want there. It's really just a little window that pops up right here. And this will say start record. So you hit that. It'll start recording. You'll, if you're using the iSight, you'll see the little LED come on next to the iSight. And yeah, you just do whatever you want. It'll tape you while you talk, tape your whole screen. And then when you're done, you'll hit stop record. And when you hit stop record, you're going to get a screen that looks like this. Let me just open up one of the ones I've made before. It'll look, wait, no, this one doesn't have a video track on it for me. Let's, um, here, I'll just use this. All right. So this is pretty much the screen you'll get. It'll look exactly like this. Here's your, you can select both video tracks. This is the eyesights and this is the computers. And I usually just save this right off the bat. Here, file, save, save as. So if I fuck something up, I can always just go back to it and not have to tape the whole thing over again. But yeah, anyway, here you can just resize these. I usually just, when I'm making an ownage video, I'll resize, resize this some here. You know, trying to get the the fuck I I can't I can't think I'm sorry it's late the the ratio height to width uh, right the aspect ratio right and you can rotate these like I my what I always do pretty much is I'll rotate the one on this side to 30 degrees which gives me that rotation do that here and rotate this one to neck minus 30 degrees which will give me the same tilt the other way and then you can just move them around here you know it'll tell you when they're centered they're they're both you know same height um. It's pretty much it. I'm not going to go into all this stuff over here. Um, if you want to delete one of the tracks, like say I want to delete this, I'll just click here on the built-in eyesight, hit delete. Just the delete button will do it. You can undo it. Um, yeah, so anyway, to export this, you, you probably want to export this in HD so it'll look better in YouTube. So you just go to export here under file, export. And I don't even bother messing with the preset here. It's just I'm gonna mess. I'm gonna change it up anyway. So just click straight to customize and settings. Now here you want to restrict this to 3,000 kilobits. YouTube for to recognize as HD requires at least 2,000. But if you set that 2,000, it might go a little bit under that since the restriction is the top part, and then it won't come up as HD in YouTube. So I just go 3,000 to be sure it'll come up right. And then here, you can't mess with this anymore. You can only mess with that when it's automatic. So, yeah, let's leave that at 3,000. Um, faster encode, single pass, best in best quality multipass. I just do multipass. It's two pass. takes twice as long, but it looks better. And, I mean, they're not big videos, so I can deal with the extra 10, 15 minutes it's going to take. And I leave this optimized for download. I don't really want to fuck with that too much. Streaming sometimes lessens the quality. So just leave that set download and hit OK. And now size, you want here, there's a setting here, HD 1280 by 720, 16 to 9. Just click on that and hit OK. You can preserve the aspect ratio if you want, but for example, my screen isn't that aspect ratio, so I'm not going to preserve it. I just, when I resize this, just make it look decent. People aren't going to measure to make sure your screen's exact, just as long as it looks good, you know. And if you preserve aspect ratio, it's just, you know, it'll put a letterbox on it, and then on the YouTube screen, it might put a letterbox on the other sides, and you're going to end up with a little square inside a black frame, and it looks like crap. So I just try to get the aspect ratio right by resizing this, what I did before, to get it smaller before I tilted it, instead of messing with this. So anyway, then I just, once I have that setting, which is the minimum for HD on YouTube, I hit OK. And then sound, it, it's normal, is 96, it's, it's uh, default, but I put it on 256 kilobits usually, just make sure it sounds really good, and I set the quality to best, and then I hit OK. Prepare for internet streaming, sorry about that, wait, sorry about that. 
Um, prefer for internet streaming, I just leave fast start on, the normal fast start. It works good enough. Um, scale to, here, I'm not sure if you need to do this since we already told it the size over here, but I do it anyway. I just set it again to 1280 by 720. And then I just hit export. And, oh, it'll export to the desktop here. Just hit export and it starts. See, here you go, how it's, here you see how it's advancing. It's going to be a little slow because I set everything to, you know, high quality and multi-pass, but, you know, it's going. This is, this is about a 10 minute video, I believe. It's either between 8 and 10 minutes, and I mean, it's not taking that long. Here we go, it's 8 minutes, 18 seconds, and it's not really taking that long. It'll be done in 20 minutes tops. And then you can just upload it straight to YouTube, so. Yeah, that's pretty much it. I hope it helps you out. Um, yeah, well, let me know what you thought about that.